right, so it's the last couple of days of the year, so that means I need to do a deep cleanse of our home, and that includes my closet. So I'm gonna take a bunch of clothes I've had in my closet, just kind of piled, ready to donate, um, over to this donation truck. I typically don't like donating to Goodwill because Goodwill is just gonna sell your clothes after you've donated it for free. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Um, so yeah, so gonna donate all these clothes that I have is like four bags full, clothes and shoes. Um, and I could just sell it, but honestly, the way I have no energy to take pictures, post it on the site, and deal with sending it out, I'm just gonna instead just donate it to this donation truck and just kind of get it over with. Um, so yeah, so that is what I'm gonna be doing. I have literally two days before the year ends, which is so crazy to me. Today is December 29th. All right, so this is where it is. It's the Children's Advocacy Center of Collin County. And I just did that so quick and easy. It was like, bring your bags, get your little tax paper or whatever, and then that's it. Look at these glasses, y'all. I hate driving when the sun is out and I don't have sunglasses because my eyes are just so sensitive. <laughs> and I did not feel like going all the way upstairs to get my sunglasses. So these are my kids' sunglasses, but we move. Look, all I wanted to do was protect my eyes and that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so I've gone ahead and donated the clothes. Now I need to go to Home Goods because I'm gonna hopefully try and find silicone kitchen utensils because Back in my bachelorette days, I used to, my apartment was like all rose gold. <laughs> For those that know, that know. Alexa, 51, 51. Let me stop. For those that know, my apartment was just literally rose gold. So my utensils were also rose gold and Target at the time had a huge deal of like kitchen utensils that were in that color. And I mean, for Target to have that back in the day, like that's amazing. So I've upgraded, I've learned the rose gold chips off. <laughs> so I need to get like silicone kitchen utensils because it's just safer. <laughs> so come with me to the home goods and hopefully I'll be able to find what I'm looking for. I really don't want to be in this area. I'm actually very tired, but we're gonna try. Home goods and TJ so cute. Two ninety nine. <gasps> Look at that. So cute. These are cute. If I was a bachelor, so cute. Oh, look at this. Can I can't wait to decorate. So cute. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. All right, so I just left TJ Maxx and y'all are not gonna believe this. I found a spatula and it was the only stainless steel spatula. There was like a nylon one and then there was like the silicone ones. And I remember I said I was gonna get the silicone one, but I Google searched it and stainless steel is the best alternative. So that's what I got. Um, and then I also scored this cute little cup. I've been wanting a cup like this with a glass straw for the longest. I think the pink is just my vibe and it has a little bit of iridescence in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, blues, purples, but this is so cute and it was only $6.99. So in total, both of these products was like 12 bucks. You can't beat that. TJ Maxx is one of those stores where if you see something you like, you gotta grab it. Otherwise, if you try and come back, it's probably not gonna be there. I am back home and I'm tired. So I'm just gonna take a water break. <clears throat> I've been watching Married to Medicine from like season one. I'm currently on season seven, but I'm also still kind of watching the new season as well. And Married to Medicine is actually really entertaining. I'm like, these ladies are hilarious. Toya, that first dream home, home was amazing. Um, that's the type of house I would like to live in, <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> All 
I totally forgot I was supposed to be vlogging this weekend. Earlier today, so, so today's Saturday, December 30th. Happy birthday, Laura. I'm not there to celebrate you in person, but I hope that you are feeling all the love. So today we went to the grocery store as a family. We needed fruit. We got oranges, apples. I'm making cornbread, bagel, plantain. We got some onions cutting up. I'm making pasta. This is my favorite brand. Um, it's so easy to make. And then my stew. I decided to make stew before we enter the new year in two days because what is Sunday being the last day? And so in the Nigerian culture, typically Sundays we eat rice and stew. And it's so crazy how Sunday is also the last day of the year, of the 2023 year. So I just thought it made sense. I'm gonna also make beans tomorrow, but today is gonna be pasta, cornbread, and stew. Uh, so super excited. Hopefully, I told you, I need to check if we have uh, chicken. So my stew is pretty much done and it looks so good. I only need to put the meat in there, but my stew base, I hate that this fan doesn't want to turn off, but this is what it looks like. And I already tasted it and it's so sweet. Y'all want to know the key to having amazing stew? I swear by it. Dorica tomato paste. Put Hunt's away, Heinz, whatever it's called. Put it away, put away the Kroger brand, put away the HB brand, get you some Dorica. That Italian tomato, I'm telling you, is gonna make your stew so sweet. Another thing is using purple onions. I don't care how much it costs. I'm using purple onions, okay? Pasta is done now. I think I'm gonna add more sausage. Um, I made a lot more noodles this time, but I'm gonna add more sausage so that it's just, you know, delicioso. All right, so I'm having Milo. Jolly, where jolly bread. Milo, Milo, where's the Milo? Right here. I wanna help. No, I'm not ready yet. You wanna help? Go get the stuff stool. Where should I go? I'm gonna microwave my milk first. What should I do? Huh? Why are you gonna make away from milk? I want hot Milo with milk instead of water. Mm -hmm. Put one more. Do not stir it. I'm gonna give you a spoon, okay? That's a lot. That's a lot. Tap it. There you go. That's good. That's good. Do not stir it in the milk. Pour the whole thing. Good job. Let me get you sugar. One, one fools. Okay, that should be enough. Uh huh. One more. One more. All right, don't stir it with that. I have a separate spoon. All right, put it back in the sugar thing. And you see this gold spoon right here? I'm gonna use that to stir it. All right, come on. That's good, that's good. So it's the last day of the year, which happens to be Sunday. So we are getting ready to go to church. Um, well, technically, we're going to get ready to eat breakfast and then go to church. So, I'm going to do a quick little makeup routine and let's get into it. So, as I'm doing my makeup, I'm a little bit sad because my favorite foundation is this Lancome Tense Idol. And I just went to their website and I also went to Sephora and they don't carry my color anymore. Look at, look at that. Isn't that my color? Like, it's like perfect. And I don't understand why. Like, I thought we were, as brands, trying to move forward and be inclusive of a wider range of foundations. And I'm like really not understanding why we're going backwards. I think the color that they stop at is in the 400s, and I'm in the 500s. Like, y'all, I'm 550C. And. 
I don't get it. Like, do I need to go to Lancome and like have a sit down with them? Because you are missing out on a lot of people that could benefit from using your foundation. Like, I love that it feels lightweight, but it is like a full coverage foundation, but it feels very lightweight. And I'm like really annoyed that they don't carry my color anymore. So I did try um, this Vanessa Myricks um, skin tint. And it's really good. Like, I like how smooth it is, how light it is, but like, I don't know. I haven't done like a full face with it. I've only put that on and then put lashes on and blush and like that was it. And it was good, but honestly, sometimes you just want like a foundation, not a skin tint. Um, for those nighttime looks, whenever you need your foundation to just be a little bit more heavier. And I'm not getting that with the skin tint, which is fine. But I'm like really annoyed that Lancome decided to stop selling the shade color because that's very unfortunate. So Lancome, this will be, I'm probably not going to be able to patronize you all anymore. But this is the last one in the shade color that I have. So I'm going to be on the hunt to find a new color. Thanks Lancome. So we just left church and it was a cool church. Um, so we're on a hunt to find a new church home in the area. We're hopefully going to be able to find one. This church was cool. I'll probably next week go to the church that we watch online and go in person. Um, this one was just a little bit closer and I was pressed for time. <laughs> I need to be waking up earlier, but I'd be so exhausted. It takes me, it takes me a lot, but we're going to try again next week. Happy New Year. So I am making breakfast for the fam. It's gonna be our staple, egg sauce, pancakes, and this we're gonna add plantain. So it is a wonderful Monday. I'm so happy this week is a short week for work. But um, yeah, time to make breakfast. I'm sure y'all like, damn, this girl is always in her freaking body. Well, guess what? I'm at home. So I get to do and be and just live however I want to live. <laughs> but um, anyway, so today is January 1st. And right now, so right now I need to take out my fingernails or my press-ons because, yeah, it's about time for them to go. It's been about... A week and some days so it's getting to that point where like they're lifting kind of and they're kind of bending and kind of hurting me <laughs> if i hit it the wrong way but yeah can we talk about how these girls on tiktok are like oh use this nail glue to get your nails to keep your nails for like 30 days i'm like do y'all not take a bath y'all don't take a shower y'all don't wash dishes like as soon as water touches your press on nails it's going to eventually lift no matter how much you prep it because i would hate for my nails to be on my nails for like 30 days that's a long time unless they're like really short but like that's just too long um but yeah so this is what i'm doing so i bought this thing from amazon let me know if you want the link i'll post it below and it's a mixture of the blue dawn soap and olive oil and a little bit of hot water and in the ch white chamber below it's like hot water as well so i'm just dipping my nails in as it becomes loose i use my cuticle pusher and then i kind of push the sides out so that it comes off but i'm just gonna work on taking all of these off because they got to go i already got two out but yeah this is what i'm doing on january 1st first set of nails got all my nails off my nails are still looking healthy that's all that matters all right so now i'm gonna just thankfully my little one is still sleeping so i'm just gonna eat some snacks and probably edit some content because 2024 i'm going to be more consistent like for real for real i know i say that all the time but like for real for real i'm gonna really try my hardest to be consistent so 
Wish me luck.